Hi everyone, Fiery Fire here. Um, so today I want to do something more fun, just just to show you how I try something out. Uh, because I'm quite curious myself at the moment. Um, because I never really tried it this way. So I tr um, I looked up some things this morning, just browsing, you know, as people do. And then I saw the donut bun. And I remember I had this big thing lying around and I used to use this to make more of a um, princess-like hairdo with a scarf, a silk scarf. I could show that in another video if you would like that. But today I wanted to keep it more simple. I just wanted to get my hair out of the way, but I was just kind of... I wasn't feeling my sticks, you know, I wasn't in the mood for sticks or forks or anything like that. I wanted uh, something very comfortable. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I tried it a little bit just to see how it would fan out and it looked really big and cool. So I was like, oh, I have to show everyone how I tried to do this. Because maybe this is one of those, it will work once and then never again, you know. So let's try to capture it on video. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we go, I guess. So what you need is a big donut bun. You could use, uh, you could make a donut bun with a sock, but I don't know if you can make it this big and it will be heavier. So I, uh, yeah, I eventually bought this and I really like it. It's very light. Uh, I have the feeling I'm going to look like Adele. <laughs> so in preparation, I already um, made a ponytail like right about here, um, but it, the, see it had already, <sighs> the weight of my um, hair tugged on the ponytail in the meantime. Let's see. I do kind of want to have some volume, so I'm not going to make it super tight. Just kind of to um, balance out the big bun that I probably will get. Um, so let's take off this because I'm going to get hot because as you know doing a big bun or a braid is quite the workout <laughs> what else do you need well you could use these or like a, you know the matching color of your hair sliding pins uh, I have the small ones but I think for this bun you best use the big ones so uh, there see they're as big as my hand let's see, see they're much bigger so I think these will be more comfortable. So let's try these. I have more, but I brought six. So just to make it, you know, like this and then crosswise like that. So I would need, no, I would need eight. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, let's try six and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I forgot, I should, maybe to make it really centralized, very well, very sturdy, you should, might use, you should use eight, I think. That probably will be better. Anyway, here we go. So I have my pins ready, this ready. So you just make a ponytail. I don't make it tight or um, like super uh, slicked back. My hair was washed yesterday, so it might be too slippery today. I don't know. I had it in a braid this morning. And then I just decided to try this. So let's see. Just gonna tuck it a bit and see. I'm just gonna try to feel if this is a comfy spot for me. And if my hair doesn't look weird. Ha, oh, my parting. Sorry, I'm using the camera as a mirror. Let's just give it a go. So you have this opening, this bit I put this I keep on top, and this bit I put on the scalp. So there we go. Can you see? Yes, you can. Great. So there we go. Just pull through the ponytail. And I'm going to feel like I'm going to put it right here, I think. This feels comfortable. There we go. And now the famous donut bun technique. Split your hair. You just lean forward. I hope I get this all on camera. Lean forward and you 
then you just kind of you know, spread it around. Try to tuck. Just make sure that um, the the donut is covered up as much as you can. But we'll go through it. Now, what some people do is put an elastic band over this, and then turn around and well wrap around the rest. But that's not what we're going to do today. Okay. Now let's see. I chose to start in the back because if there's any mistakes, this will be hidden the most. Now gently, very gently, you kind of wrap your hair around it and just feel. Just wrap, 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 wrap. Very gently. Try to not make any big bumps. You just keep wrapping. There we go. I don't want a, um, a tight, neat bun. I just want something casual, fun, loose, you know. Okay, there we go. So now we keep wrapping it around, covering up this big donut bun. Okay. Feel a bit and wrap it. Make sure the donut is all covered up. Just gently keep wrapping. Maybe I should have combed my ponytail first. My hair feels a bit tangly. Oh well. Too late now. Okay. Okay. There we go. And then you just keep twisting the ends. Like any other bun, right? Feel if I have any leftover hairs. I do. I do. You need to be hidden. There. Wrap, wrap. So don't tuck. Just gently wrap. Okay. All tucked away. I'm not going to lift up my head at the moment because I want to secure the ends first. Just grab a little bit of hair from the top and tuck it away so it will be nice and secure. I'm going to make a little gently. So I'm going to try to make um, an X with four bobby pins then and hope that will be secure enough we'll see I guess there we go that's the bottom end tucked in that's the first bit you best do the bottom one because that gets the most weight and then I'm going to do the sides but this is going to be Just tuck it in gently, wiggle wiggle, that helps to grab some hairs, and tuck it in. I just hope this will stay. Okay, another one. Oh, this is my... Ah, just one moment. <laughs> Dropped it. This is my bad side. I find it right easier, uh, but let's try. Okay, kind of feel, gently feel. This is going to be a bit harder. Okay, I'm going to try to grab some hair. Gently put it in there. Ooh, and that one did not work as well. Oh well. Okay. This should be quite secure, secure already. Just make sure. Let's put two above. But I kind of feel that I would like two more at the bottom. So yeah, I would use eight, I think. Eight pins instead of six. Okay. Now, do not ruin the effect. I'm going to have to be real careful. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. 
and then one on the other side. Gently grab some hair. This bun is all about being gentle, because if you want to keep it loose and casual, that's how you have to treat this hair too. There we go. Ta-da! Okay. Hope I can grab... Did I grab one? No. There we go! I do have some neck hairs, but... um, ta -da -da. I'll do a little turn around. This feels so nice, but I, w I do wonder what I should do with these neck hairs. Ooh, I could tuck them in. I have still these little ones. I'm going to grab one and tuck these in. Um, I don't think that should work. Just squeeze them under. Let's tuck them in. Oh, I think I just grabbed some hair. Oh well. This is all about trying some stuff out, isn't it? There, tuck, tuck, tuck. Come on, go in. Oh, this is awesome. Do you like it? I hope you do. Uh, let's do this a bit. This, see how big it is, it's massive, <laughs> but really light. It looks humongous, but it's really light, so. Okay, this is my version of my little uh, experiment with the donut bun. I could see myself wear this at work, by the way. This definitely is one um, I think that you get faster with once you get more practice, because when it comes down to it, it's not that hard. It's just not rushing it and just taking your time. Um, like wrapping it around some pins in there and done you have a your neck is nice and cool and you still have like lots of things going on you could really make this more fun with some um, you can make this very chic with uh, some uh, hair decorations but I just want to keep it casual and just relax so here you go okay bye everyone